I'm down in San Diego in the uh, San Diego Model Railroad Museum with my friend Paul here. Paul's a member of the La Mesa Model Railroad Club, and they're building an amazingly realistic model of the uh, Tehachapi Pass route. Paul, we're standing in front of a track here that represents the Tehachapi Loop itself. Yes, that's correct. Okay. And how, how big is the layout surrounding this loop? Or, I mean, it's we, huge, isn't We it? have about 8,000 square feet in this exhibit. 8,000? 8, 8,000. Yeah. 5,000 on the lower level and about 3,000 on the mezzanine. So, so what part of the line are you modeling from? We're modeling from Bakersfield to Mojave. Ah, okay. Including all of the stations along the way. Okay. Now, my impression was that you're modeling almost curve for curve what's really there in the prototype. If the prototype curved, then, then this does too? To some extent. We've had to okay. eliminate some curves and a lot of trackage because we're only going to be having about a third of the length of the okay. of the line. So the length of the real line is what? Uh, about 68, 68 miles. 68 miles, and the length of your model is? It's going to be about 31. Holy cow, you know, 31 scale miles 31. in HO? So it was the first loop that was uh, built in any railroad, and of course it was done to maintain the 2% plus grade. Okay. So there's just no other way for them to get up the hill, keep the grade in check, other than to go around in a circle. Yes, that's correct. Okay. What's, the, what's the diameter here in the model? Our model, the main line has a radius of 56 inches. Okay. Now you guys like to run fairly long trains. I mean, they're not quite as long as the prototype runs, but uh, you know, you're running, how long are they? Some of our trains are up to 140 foot cars. Um, going downhill. Mm -hmm. uh, the uphill trains are pretty much limited to a, approximately 60 cars. Okay. Um, they're limited to 60 cars just because of tractive effort or? Uh... Yes. Okay. Because it, well we have a rating system for our locomotives and it's basically two cars per powered axle. Mm -hmm. And so you know if you want to go beyond 60 cars now you're talking about having a lot of a lot of motive power on the train. Now, this area is the newest area on the layout in terms of scenery, right? The scenery yes. is just, you know, the, the paint's hardly dry on it. Yes, okay. and it's not finished. Yeah, so. So, so you guys are getting a sneak preview of this thing here. 